Here is an example of a puppet that we've created that uses layer picker to control the lip sync of the character. Uh, this is a fairly straightforward setup. Um, all you need to do is have a sequence of frames, um, which I will show you here now. Uh, we have a layer, which we've called layer picker. And you'll see in this layer we have a sequence of frames where the mouth has been rendered out to slowly get bigger. Then back in character animator, um, in rig mode, that sequence we add the layer picker behavior. Then once that's added, we go to layer picker and make sure audio input is set. Now this works by the louder you speak, the further along the frames it will run, uh, the quieter you speak, the less. So it gives a good result for getting a a quick lip sync setup. Um, it works particularly well with characters such as Muppet style things. Think of Kermit the Frog with a flappy mouth. Um, there's no uh, mouth shapes for like ooh or o's or ah. It's just open and closed. So any characters where it's just open and closed, it works um, pretty good as well. Um, you've also got the option to add in the Nutcracker draw. Um, that adds a little bit more to it if you um, if it works with the character that you're on. Uh, I've done this by going to the head control, um, fixing a bunch of points so that doesn't move, adding a control on the jaw. Um, we've added the nutcracker behavior. Then in the nutcracker behavior, if we have audio inputs and we can adjust the audio flappiness and you can see, you know, you can see how you can adjust this to just add a little bit more control over how the bottom of the mouth of the jaw works. But if you don't want to go through the whole setup of all the, the lip sync, and especially if you have got um, a character where it's just mouth open and closed, this works quite well. Um, yeah, we just wanted to send that tip to you.